Hey, welcome back! I've only got a couple of Lego friends sets left to build coming into the end of the year. I've been eking them out. This one's actually, like, it's not a big set, but it really ticks some interesting boxes, especially if you're a horse lover. It's always nice that Lego friends <laughs> caters to the horse lovers amongst us, which is not me, but that's, I, I mean, I always enjoy these. This one's got Aaliyah in it and Mia, and currently you can only get Mia you know, in her adult form in Autumn's house. So to have her in this set is really, really good. So there are 134 pieces in here. It's $53 in Australia, $30 in the US. I've definitely seen it on sale places because it's been out for a little while now. So make sure you check around. So there are three bags plus a bag of bits and bobs, the big bits and bobs bag. There were so many bees. I'm loving my alliteration. And there are three instruction books because this is designed, obviously, to be an easier build so you can get straight in and have some fun with it. Okay, so first up, we're going to have a look at the two characters involved here. So there is Aaliyah in this brand new boot print that we have seen for this year. It doesn't get old to me. It's really, really stunning. It's so elegant. But this is really interesting. This is a brand new riding top, currently exclusive to this set. So she's in another set with Autumn at the in the stable in a different riding top. How cool is that? That we have two different riding top prints for Aaliyah. And of course, we've got the same face. It'd be nice to have had an alternate expression, but you know, I just want everything all the time. So yeah, same face, which is just such a pretty face. She's got such a lovely face print and her hat hair helmet combo specifically for riding, which I just love so much. The whole ensemble is so elegant and gorgeous. Okay, we're just going to give her a few of her pieces that she's supposed to have, but then we'll have a look at Mia and the horses that come with the set. So she's got a carrot and she also so has got, I mean, we're going to be putting her to work because it's a lot of work to have a horse or to be involved with horses or to do anything with horses or some toll. Oh, I mean, honestly, I've been on a horse maybe once in my life. So I'm living vicariously through the friends again. So beautiful green wheelbarrow, some hay in there because hay is for horses and an, and an apple. And this little foal, I'm pretty sure is exactly the same one that came in Autumn's house. So we're seeing seeing some double ups, but that's fine because you do, not everybody gets all the sets. Okay, so we've also got Mia in the same, like Mama Mia, in the same outfit that she is wearing in Autumn's house. But, I mean, it should be Mia's house, but we'll let that rest. Her shirt, like her orange cardigan print, is a not quite as clean a print as I'd like to see. The buttons are a bit... Like they're all gone. No, that's that's not right. That's because that's the side you actually put the buttons through. But it's a little bit like a little bit, yeah, a little bit dodgy under the arms. But ah, here we go. We've got this horse was also in the stable. So we got the foal from the house and the horse spring from the stable. I'm pretty sure this horse was the one that was called Spring. So really, really cool. So this is the horse that they're busy hanging out with. And we've also got, I just grabbed this stuff out of the third bag. We've also got a saddle for the horse, but no bridle or reins. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge for Aaliyah, but you know what? I reckon she's up to it. There we go. See, she's leaning precariously forwards with nothing to hold on to while standing up in the saddle. Looks very natural. Now, we have got a bag of accessories all in magenta pink, which is just gorgeous. We don't see these accessories so much these days, so I'm glad to still see them turning up because they're so pretty and cute. And I love just putting stuff like bows on everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's something wrong with me. No, I will 100% embrace that. Why can you, you, we should be allowed to put bows on everything. Unless the everything doesn't want the bows. And sometimes the everything doesn't get a say. Because the everything is a horse and the horse decides to do what it's told. Does that work? I don't know that that works for horses. Now we have got this spinny thing, which is really cool. Printed spinny thing. I found this such a fun interactive little element to have in the set. So you can spin it and look, it's time to feed the horse. And spin it, it's time to feed the horse again. Spin it, feed the horse again. This horse is, yep, okay, it's definitely for feeding time for the horse. So if you are struggling on what you want to do, with your gameplay, then this little spinning wheel is going to give you a few little hints. So you've got sleep, eat and groom, which is really fun. Okay. All right. Now, this has actually got a stable kind of thing. It doubles as it doubles as a, a lookouty kind of section. So that's the bit that we're building now. It's got a little detachable seaty thing, which is just the right size for the fold. I'm gonna pop the fold up. Wait, look, the perfect size for the fold. And this little printed bit here, quite classy actually. This would go on any age group, I think, for, for a stable or a horse. A horse themed build. Okay, 
We've got some binoculars up here and we've got one little green bit left over at the end of that bag. We're up to bag number two. At the moment it doesn't look like very much, but that's okay. Now this is the bag that Mia and the foal actually came in. I nicked them out early on so we can have a look at them at the beginning. But now, now we can get started on the interesting stably kind of thing. Now this is actually designed obviously to have lots and lots of interactive and play elements because it's it's marketed towards that sort of an audience. So for me, as an adult collector, I am looking for other interesting things on here. Though I do play with the interactive elements because, you know, nobody should be fun police. We should all be allowed to play with stuff. All right. Okay, so we've got this gorgeous printed piece on as the back drop. I'm trying to see if there are any little Easter eggy things on here, but I think it's all just kind of horse based elements just kind of piled on the shelves. Nice, nice, nice print. On the side here, we've got a powder blue, yeah, powder blue crate and a little sinky section. And then we've got a couple of token flowers, which is nice. And then some nice big frame, white frame arches so that you can actually have a nice, really, really quick, substantial wall structure going in there, but still open an area so you can get in there, shove stuff in and take it out again when you want it, when you want to access it. Uh, on the top, we've got some jumper studs and some smooth bits so that we can actually touch, attach, we can attach that bit. We'll definitely attach it and we're not going to attach it, attach the, <laughs> attach the bit that we already built and some slopey purple roof pieces to uh, yeah fill out the rest of that space beautifully symmetrical and then we can put a pitchfork over here in our little uppy crazy thing and we've got an outdoor shower nice nice and simple and that's going to fit both of the horses because it's nice and high okay all right so at the end of this bag we can pop this up here and a trophy up so it's a little lookout section up on the top now the third bag has actually got a whole heap of play elements we've basically got the structure done lots and lots of jumper studs in there but we're going to be attaching a whole heap of things to them and they're designed obviously to be detachable. So if we want to make spring go back to being just a normal old horse without the saddle on and add all of these fabulous pretty accessories, we're going to pretty you up. We're going to make you gorgeous with a pink brush and there's two different size brushes there too and there's the spray bottle, all the stuff that we've seen in these packs before. But so many fun accessories, I really do like these. <laughs> I've missed them, we haven't seen them for a while. So two different types of bows, we've got a couple of ribbons, I mean why would we choose second if we can choose first place, am I right? And then on the tail at the at the back we're going to put the one with the little love heart and I think that the foal actually has a little hole in its head, no a hole in its tail because a hole in the head is a bit of a worry. So a hole in the top of its tail so we can put a little bow there too. Oh my gosh they look so pretty. I do like the magenta version of these. So, so pretty. Okay, some more things, some more accessories and fun things to add to this build. So we have to have a place to actually put all of the accessories to store these suckers because otherwise they're just going to end up just tumbled out on the floor. So we can clonk these onto the clips. We've got a nice big brush. We've got the soap on a clip, soap on a clip <laughs> and the different star brush there and the, yeah, the spray bottle over on here. And then for the top, on the top we've got like this sudsy, yeah, sudsy bottle and a empty wine bottle. Not quite sure. I mean, one of those is a soap bottle. The other one's maybe just some sort of big sized horse washing lotion. Okay, and we've got a little stand there for the saddle and in this crate here, which according to the instructions, it just comes the poo, we just sit it next to it. Poop. I love how all of the animals in the Lego world, all of their poops are the same size. <laughs> that seems realistic. So we put the rest of our accessories into the brown crate, but we also have some interactive elements that you can you can use with the horsies. So you can actually do show jumping because it's actually called, oh my gosh, I forgot to even say what the name of the set was. It's the horse training. It's horse training. So yeah, and they're training some horses. So we've got one higher jump and this one's a little bit of a lower jump. And then you can just kind of set these up there on their own little grass sections. You can set them up wherever you want them to be. Put an extra poop here as a wonderful obstacle course. And you can use the, you can use the pitchfork to try and detach that poop. Now it's all over my fingers, but it's not real, so it's fine. But I've got a very good imagination, so possibly need to wash my hands. Okay, all right. So let's have a look. We've got our nice big empty shed stably kind of thing. We can put this saddle right in the middle. Uh, we can put this over on the side. So we've got the horse washing station over here. And then you can actually attach the horses in on the jumper studs. We can put the foal over here. 
And I'd like to be able to kind of store the rest of this stuff away too so that it's all together. Otherwise I tend to lose things. So maybe when I'm not using it, I'm gonna just attach the little jumpy bits over on the sides, maybe. I reckon I could put this, yeah, I can pop this through the back and that can go on the jumper studs and then I can pop, the fold can go in front. It's looking very cramped now, but I just want to make everything nice and tidy inside. <laughs> I mean, it looks cluttered, but at least we're keeping everything together. Poor old spring's fallen over. Here we go. Let's fix you up. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. Lots and lots of options for fun things to do for this set. If you are horse crazy, then th this is going to be one you're going to want to add to your collection. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. It's cute and it's definitely got some interesting elements in it. For me as an adult collector, the fact that Andrea has got a unique top like a torso print for this is amazing so i just love the fact that that was incorporated for this plus it's a cheaper way to get mia as an adult as well if you want to add her to your collection okay subscribe give me a like do all the things and check back in because there are more videos coming up soon so i'll see you then <laughs> bye